A school scandal at Central Catholic High School in Lawrence. Three staffers now off the job accused of inappropriate behavior. One administrator has been fired over claims he drugged and raped a former student. Now two more are on leave over questions involving compromising photos and inappropriate messages. WBZ's Nick Giovanni is live in Lawrence with the very latest. Nick. Kate and Chris, it's worth noting no criminal charges have been filed in any of these cases, but we have now learned two faculty members have been suspended, one fired. As students at Central Catholic High made their way to class in Lawrence Friday, new allegations began to surface that led to two of the school's staff members being placed on administrative leave. In an email obtained by WBZ that went out to the Central Catholic community this week, the school's president, Christopher Sullivan, wrote that one staff member, quote, is alleged to have posted compromising photos of himself on an adults-only password-protected website, photos that are now circulating around campus, according to Sullivan. The other case, according to Sullivan, allegations an administrator, quote, sent inappropriate messages through a social media site to a former student who had graduated in 2016. Sullivan says those alleged messages were sent last month. Those screenshots are also now circulating around campus, according to the letter. This all comes days after a school administrator was fired amid allegations of a sexual assault involving a student back in 2006. Sullivan wrote that administrator was fired for, quote, violating the school's policies pertaining to appropriate social boundaries between students and faculty. And the father of that administrator who was fired actually just spoke to our David Roba show a minute ago. Just got a text about it. The father told, told Roby, quote, my son is innocent. If you know my son, you know he would never do this. Now, the Middlesex DA's office has confirmed they're looking into the sexual assault case. And the school has said they will help in any way possible while they conduct investigations into the other two cases. We're live in Lawrence. Nick Giovanni, WBZ News.